In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to connect your hosting or domain to your Shopify store. This process is crucial for ensuring your customers can easily find your online business. And I'm here to walk you through every step of the journey. First, head over to your Shopify admin panel. Once you're there, you'll want to navigate to the settings section. And from there, go to domains. This is where all your domain management actions will take place. Once you're in the domain section, look out for the option that says connect existing domain and give that a click. It's going to prompt you to enter your domain name. This is the web address you've purchased from Hostinger. Type in your domain, like yourdomain.com, and then hit Next. Shopify will automatically check your DNS settings at this point. If everything looks good, you'll see your domain appear in your list of domains, signifying a successful connection thus far. Now, let's switch over to Hostinger. Log into your Hostinger account to access the H panel. This control panel is where you'll manage all aspects of your domain settings. Once logged in, locate the Domains section. Inside there, you'll find Domains Portfolio. This is where Hostinger displays all your active domains. Find the domain you're working with and click Manage next to it to access further settings. In the Management settings, you'll want to find your way to the DNS or Name Servers section. It might seem a bit technical if you're new to this, but don't worry. You'll notice there may be existing DNS records, specifically A, AAA, or WWW SNAME records. These can sometimes interfere with the new connection you're trying to establish between Shopify and Hostinger, so it's important to remove any of these that could pose a conflict. After you've tidied up any unnecessary records, Shopify will likely have prompted you to add or update certain DNS records. These adjustments are essential, as they guide internet traffic from your domain to your Shopify store. Carefully enter these records exactly as Shopify has requested. This could involve entering specific IP addresses or CNames into the fields provided. Once you've diligently updated all the DNS records as instructed, your final step is crucial. Return to your Shopify setup page and click on the option that says, I updated DNS records. This action notifies Shopify that you've completed the necessary changes and prompts them to finalize the connection. Pat yourself on the back. You've successfully connected your hosting or domain to your Shopify store. This seamless integration will make your online business considerably easier to find by customers who are eager to explore what you have to offer. Always keep in mind that DNS changes can take a bit of time to propagate, so don't worry if everything doesn't seem instantaneous. Thanks for following along, and I wish you the best of luck with your online store.